This is my post review of Lala by Diamond Art Club that I got in my mystery box number six. And my name is Marissa and I make a different variety of diamond art content. If that interests you, consider of subscribing maybe, maybe? All right. And yeah, I wanted to show you kind of how I was storing it since it's been completed. Let's kind of bust in. Okay, me and the box did get into a little bit of a fight. That's on me. Now, I did mention when I was kitting this up or unboxing it, I don't remember, I think it was the kit up of this, um, that I had some nefarious plans for this. I still have those plans, but they are going to be postponed because it's going to be a double whammy fan, um, plan and I am waiting um, for a custom from Jaded Gem Shop to come in and then I have to complete it so I can just do it at the same time. This is kind of the um, start of that plan. And I still can't tell you what it is, but I am super excited still. Super, super excited. This was a super easy project to do. I started it, let's see. I started it on the 16th and I finished it on the 23rd. So I think that's a week, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah, so it took me exactly a week to get this done. I probably would have gotten it done sooner, but I really wanted to start Mystery Kit 52. And um, I am enjoying doing the mystery kit so much that, uh, yeah, it took a little bit of time from this one, which is fine because the plans got postponed for this. And yes, so this has 19,008 drills, has 14 colors. I used it in the Passionate Purple 2024 by Tita. Um, held that event, Just Breathe, which is the dragons and, or diamonds and dragonflies. Um, she's hosting that one. And then the May DP along, which is Elisa, and she has the DAC Canada group. And I believe she has something threads on YouTube. I'll link those all down below. But yeah, this was just so much fun to do. I got to use my big multi-placer that I got from Diamond Art Club, which was pretty cool. It's a 10, but I can squeeze like 11 or 12 diamonds on it. Um, it went pretty smoothly. My placement's not perfect, but I don't expect it to be. My daughter wanted to try some squares, so she did a decent size section right down in here, and she did really good. I was so proud of her. My son also wanted to do some too, and he did, where was it? Um, I believe right in here is where he did too. So that was really exciting. And they did good, and it was really fun to have them help me with this because they know my secret plans for this, and yes. I have them prowling around as I'm talking about it. It's really cute. Now, any of the gapping and weird um, placement stuff, I believe is on me because I am not the best at this, nor do I wanna be. But right here, you can see a lot more. This is where my daughter and my son were mainly working and there is some gapping. So I think this is just a placement thing. I did a lot of gapping right here. Like all of this is my fault. But yeah, this was super easy to do. Once again, blown away by the quality of Diamond Art Club. Um, I'm super excited for their new upgrades that they have coming and their for their perforated covers and kits. And I'm super, super excited for those. But this, this definitely was just a nice, easy thing. So I think I wanna get some more that are just easy like this, even though I still find Lala to be creepy as shit. Like this is a creepy little guy and it just reminds me of how much I hated that show. <laughs> so yes. I didn't worry about running out of any drills. I had more than enough. So that was not a concern at all. And this is all of the trash that I had. Like look how itty bitty that is. There was almost like no trash. So quality, once again, A plus. Yeah. I still don't know what K stands for, but it is this beautiful like gold around the eyes. So if you know what K stands for, let me know for Diamond Art Club. And it was also my first time working with Fairy Dust Diamonds, which is right here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, 
and right into these highlighted areas right here. And I loved working with the fairy dust. They are so much more easy than the AB diamonds. Although I am doing the paper towel trick and do plan on trying the sponge trick for the AB soon. But yeah, um, such a glory to work on. I loved it so much. Um, I think that really concludes my um, post review on this. Also, if you want to email me your stories of why having a hobby is beneficial, funny anecdotal stories, things about diamond painting, or really just the benefits of having any hobby and how it was beneficial to you, whether it be like cause mental health or not being able to do things physically or whatever reason, email me at diamondsandthoughts at gmail.com. I'll have that linked down below because I want to help spread awareness and share your stories of just the benefits of having a hobby, especially one like this. Um, if you like this type of content, especially diamond art content, consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Have a beautiful day. Bye.